And schools across Missouri and the country are taking many COVID-19 precautions to make sure students and staff stay safe as they return to learn. ABC 17's Amber Tabling is live in Columbia. Amber, the Sturgeon R5 school district found a new way to take temperatures after experiencing some issues this summer. Deb Lucas, I spoke with Sturgeon R5 superintendent and he said that the district did see some issues with their temperature screenings that they placed on students and staff's forehead this summer during summer activities along with some other issues, but now they found a solution. Superintendent Jeffrey Neal said the district felt it was important to fix the non-consistent temperature checks. After repeatedly seeing students' temperatures extremely low, around 91 and 92 degrees, after getting to school when the air condition had been blowing in their face. We knew right away that that probably wasn't accurate because that would be pretty dangerous temp level. Some temperatures also read too high. And if kids were playing around outside or working outside, and then came directly to school after getting the sun for three or four hours, they would have temperature readings that were just way off the charts. They wouldn't even read because of their skin tempo. It maybe was a little bit hotter. Since September 9th, the district has used fusion technologies where the scanner measures the staff and students' body temperature on their wrist and has proven to show more consistent results and shown to help in other areas as well. It doesn't get those huge fluctuation points if, say, a kid was on a school bus and it's 90 degrees or if they've been in the front seat of a car with the air on full blast. And so we've been able to mitigate that a little bit and it allows us also to move our kids in a little bit quicker so that there isn't that standing and they're they're able to adhere to social distancing outside. And Neil said that the district does plan to use those temperature scanners during fall and winter activities like basketball games if spectators are allowed back into the buildings. I also spoke with a Sturgeon parent and she said she hasn't had any concerns about sending her students and children back to school because the district has taken so many precautions. Reporting live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News. Amber, thank you. The school district has reached out to the Boone County Commission to see if they qualify for CARES Act funding after purchasing those new temperature scanners. Neil said they're currently in the application process.